Darkman Doll here. I just wanted to come to you with a question from a viewer. Um, here it is. A viewer by the name of Homeschoolie asks, May I ask why some of your locks are so long and some are so short? Because I have freeform dreadlocks. When freeform dreadlocks form, it's not a uniformed lock. It's not a manicured lock. It's not a maintained lock. It's a freeform lock. That's why some are really skinny, like this, like this one, and some are thicker, like these. Some are longer because they've grown out from being new growth. Like, look at all the new growth on top. And some people can't handle that. They don't like that. And it's a preference. And it depends on what path you're on. Um, yep, some are long and some are short. And that is why. Because it's freeform dreadlocks. It's not manicured dreadlocks where each individual lock is the same size and I'd like it that way I like it that way <laughs> see it in the back I'll show you in the back if you can see the back this one is the front this one goes in the back right there. that's what I got going on in the back part in the front business in the back <laughs> hopefully you can see that well, but, um, I just knocked the cushion off my chair. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's why. These are free fine dreadlocks. They're not going to be all the same size. They're just not. They're just not. Uh, most free fine dreadlocks aren't the same size. I have this book called Dreads. You see the woman in the cover? Are all of her dreads the same size and the same length? No, they're not. They're all different lengths. Kind of the same size, but all different lengths. And uh, depending on what kind of hair you have and how your hair decides to lock up. And it's a process. It's a process that most people don't want to wait to um, see some what they call results. And I don't know what you're waiting for for that. Because most people, I feel like, are afraid to wear their hair like this. To let their hair just be and form the way that it needs to form. <laughs> Some people are, like little pieces. I got little, little tiny ones. This used to be just regular hair, new growth, and now it's forming a dread. That's how it works. Freeform dreadlocks forming freely. Locks forming freely. You know, I don't know how many times I got to say that, but that's what it is about. But people get confused because there's a lot of groups that start up, uh, call themselves freeform dreadlocks, but they separate and they still do certain things that are similar to going to a salon. So that's why people get confused as to what freeform dreadlocks are. Look at Bob Marley, okay? Bob Marley says, just wash it and leave it. That's what freeform dreadlocks is. Just wash it and leave it alone. Know when to wash it, know when to not wash it, and know when to just leave it alone. Leave your hair alone. When you stop fucking with it, then it starts to grow healthily. You know, and people are like, oh, I don't like this ugly stage of freeform dreadlocks. My hair is never going to be, you know, all evened out. That's not what the point of it is evening it out. It's not. It's about letting go. That's what freeform dreadlocks is about. It's about letting go. Letting go of my hair looks, needs to look like this. I need to lay down my edges. I need to do all that stuff. I don't care if people do that. That doesn't bother me. But that's not my journey. You know, um... People may get upset because I say I don't want to do that with my dress because I want all of my hair to be the same texture. I don't need some of my hair to look swirly and some of it to look like that. It's not about looks for me with my hair. It's about a spiritual journey that I'm on. So um, other people are doing it for different reasons and that's okay. That's why there's so many different people in this world. It's all right. I'm not here to judge. I'm not a natural hair care um, enforcer. I'm not. If you want to be on this journey, then by all means do so. But otherwise, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you wear a wig. I don't care if you wear a weave. I don't care what the hell you do with your head. I don't. But if you're coming to me for advice, then I can give you some if you like it. If you're on a freeform dreadlock journey. And a freeform dreadlock journey doesn't involve a lot of manipulation. And for me, it doesn't. It doesn't involve, you know, hooking up with a, a crochet hook and making sure every little knot and nap is not out of control. And ah! <laughs> I don't 
don't deal with that, right? I don't deal with that. Because these are free form dreadlocks, forming hair forming freely. That's why I don't deal with that. And my hair is growing at, at whatever rate that needs to go. Some are long, some are short. And look at my old videos too. I talked about some of the things I did that were damaging. And now my hair has been growing in more healthy. Um, in the beginning of my journey, my free form dreadlock journey, I wasn't doing the best of things. I was wearing my hair too tight. And all this stuff, and you can look at my past videos to find that out, because I'm not going to do a whole uh, rehashing of it, because <laughs> I have a gazillion videos on here that explains uh, why my hair is different lengths. Okay? So, um, look at some of the vi the photos in the, the Dread book. You're not going to see um, uniform locks all the way around. I mean, look at these guys. Even within this, you know, the locks vary in size. Let's see if we find another comparison. Everybody is obsessed with symmetry when it comes to hair. Not everybody, a lot of people are. And I'm not. So if you're obsessed with symmetry, then freeform dreadlocks path may not be for you. And people are doing semi freeform. I don't really care what you're doing. As long as you're a good person, <laughs> as long as you're treating yourself well and realizing that we're all on our own individual path. And if the path for you is freeform dreadlocks, well, this is my experience and I'm sharing it with you. And uh, if it's not the same as what you define freeform dreadlocks as being, that's fine. I don't mind. I'm not here to debate and get in arguments with people over what's freeform dreadlocks and what's not. When I first started out, and when I first started doing videos on YouTube, which was ages ago, um, there was only a few people that were freeforming. There was Desi Hotep, there was a guy named Hats Don't Fit, and there was somebody else. Um, but other than that, those were the people that I knew of that were really freeforming, and, and that's all you do. You just leave your hair alone, wash it, and leave it. I've been put, I put oils on my scalp when my, hair's, my scalp's dry, you know. Just keep things simple, and that's what the freeform dreadlock journey is about. I mean, trying to find some photos, more photos, examples. Here we go. Here's some other other folk. And people, so many people have so many different definitions of what freeform dreadlock is. Like I said, um, dreads forming freely. <laughs> But this guy, definitely, his dreads are forming freely. And he's not thinking about, you know, do I got to get my roots tightened? I just, that's the kind of stuff that I didn't want to have anything to do with. So I'm letting my hair go in as it grows in. As it wants to grow in. Um, not trying to, like, make it all even. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. That is not, that is not my prime objective with my dreads, my head full of dreads, my free form dreads. My prime objective is to leave it be as much as possible. Put it away when I don't want them to get dirty, keep them clean, don't have them wet or damp at night, and keep things simple. So yeah, and the long short of it, free form dreadlocks aren't supposed to be the same length and the same size, the same this and the same that. That's not, that's not something free. That's not something forming freely, okay? So that's why my hair is different in lengths, because <laughs> that's how it forms. It forms naturally on its own. Look at that one. These all form on their own. I don't have to go and twist it up and make it the way that it is. There's some people that like that. They want to do that. They want to have control over how their dreadlocks turn out and how they look. And that's okay if you want to do that, but that's not my journey. And a lot of the people that, that watch my videos on here, that's not their journey either. Um, so it's up for you to decide whether or not that's what you want to do. If you want your hair to be all uniform and the same size, then you're not having freeform dreadlocks really. If you really look at somebody with a head full of freeform dreadlocks, well, not all of their hair is going to be exactly symmetrically the same. Unless they're doing some sort of maintenance, like with a crochet hook or... Um, or twisting the roots and all that kind of stuff. And that's just something I'm not I'm not interested in doing. 
it's not right or wrong. It just is. That's just how it is for me, you know. And if that's something that you feel like you want to be um, on that type of a journey where you're not constantly doing something to your hair, um, because a lot of people have been damaging their hair by doing so much to it. And that's why I stopped doing all the stuff that I'm doing to my hair. So, yeah. And each head of freeform dreadlocks is going to look different. Just because I have freeform dreadlocks doesn't mean that your freeform dreadlocks is going to look the same as mine. It just isn't. There's a lot of things that play into the health of dreadlocks, and I've talked about this on many shows. So if you haven't seen any of my shows other than this one, or you've only seen like a handful of them, go back and watch you know, the library full of videos where I talk about my journey, my freeform dreadlock journey. So every, everyone's journey is a personal journey, and this one is a spiritual one for me. And I talk about that in all my videos, and you can see why it's such a spiritual journey for me. So thanks for joining me today. Thanks for your question, homeschooling. If you'd like to uh, donate to this channel, you can go to my Google Pay, PayPal, or my Cash App. And in exchange for your donation, I can create a video just like this for you. Or I can create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you as well. So with that said, various blessings to y'all. I'll see you soon. And remember, keep things simple.